Hey everyone, Andreas here. Uh, I wanted to do a follow-up update to the Owlbear Plush um, update that I did uh, last week. And uh, just a couple of updates because I've talked to the manufacturer and learned a couple new things. And there are a couple, of, <laughs> there are a couple important things, so let's get into it. So to start off, this is the original Owlbear, and this is sort of what we've been basing everything off of. And and this has been our template for the design, for the pattern, and everything. And it also my reference point for the color and the fur. And I assume it's the same for everyone else because the darn guy is pretty darn ador adorable. So keeping that in mind. So with the manufacturer provided us Snowy Owlbear. Um, honestly, I don't think there's anything needed to change with this guy. He is fairly solid. I love how the fur came out. Um, nothing to change for Snowy Owlbear. They did note that the eyes were not the color that I had specified. I think these are fine, so we'll probably just go with this color. Um, so yeah, uh, Snowy Owlbear, there's gonna be no changes. I, there's no need for changes on Snowy Owlbear. He's actually perfect, which is a surprise. Which came to the two more controversial Owlbears, um, Light Brown and Rose. Now, when I did my unboxing, I had no idea that what the manufacturer was giving me, so it was more of a surprise and confusion. Um, for my behalf, because they're both, you know, like, what were you trying to do? Um, so they've informed me that these were made to be two material tests. And essentially the difference is fur quality. Um, and almost a little, essentially, yeah, the difference is fur quality. Um, and the coloration was colors that were on hand or sourceable. Um, for the final product, they'll be matching, color matching to the source. Uh, so... We don't have to worry about picking between rose or light brown compared to now if you want to see darker owlbear if you want to see all those heads and see the different color ranges we have here so we're still going to be doing just two owlbears because i feel like introducing a third is going to be a little more complicated and although rose was cute i think people consider i think we were considering rose as an alternative to brown with light brown being sort of like the new option um, so all that goes out the window in that sense, um, and that we're still just doing two owl bears, brown and uh, arctic. So back to fur. So the thing here is that there is two fur qualities, and I guess the easiest way to show this off to you guys is by well here, is by showing you off the feet. So here is the original owl bear. Now as you can tell, there isn't much around here because mostly it's just curved. Um, but now when you start looking, let's show the others. So Snowy Owlbear, you can see there's this ring of fur. Um, and this is, I believe, a high quality fur um, for the pattern. Now, let's go to um, Rose, also poofy, and compare it with um, the brown, which is a little bit fluffier. It's a lot whiter if you want to, like, I don't know, compare the two side by side which is really weird to show like underbellies of owlbears. Um, and so after reviewing quite a bit, there is a significant quality difference. So for instance, when you're moving the fur, you can see this linear sort of pattern show up with the fur. And it is, they're both soft, don't get me wrong. Uh, and whereas with this one, when you do that, you don't get a linear pattern. You can't see the uh, underlying mesh that happens with the owlbear uh, or happens with that fur pattern. Um, so what we're probably going to be, or what I'm looking at doing, is going along with the fur type of the lighter brown because it is a lot fluffier, it is a lot higher quality fur, and I think this will result in a better, more adorable fluffy owlbear um, that everyone loves. And so the only thing that's on my sticking point is to ensure that the color actually matches the brown that we were looking for from the original owlbear. So... That's a long-winded update. Um, I think, and then for the accessories, um, we'll be putting our own patterns on everything. Everything was just white. Um, the the cape, which also came out great, that was just white because it's a blank. Same with the fishy, it's a blank. Um, they're gonna increase the strength of the magnet a little bit because it was kind of hard to like pick up the fish with the magnet. Uh, so they're gonna change that a little bit. And then the bow tie um, was red in the sample, but we're going to be doing our own custom uh, pattern for that as well. 
um, which I'll be picking that out and designing, redesigning those since it's now that we actually have stuff to compare to, I can actually design a little more appropriately to it. So yeah, that's our owlbear update number two. And thank you so much. And I can't wait to finally, like, I guess I'll be getting more owlbears. So <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and have a good one.